Hey, how's it going, everyone? Maryland here, and that's right, it's time for more of Maryland's Pokemon Moon Adventure. Last time, I got, uh, I got accepted into the International Police, or at least helping them out with tracking down these Ultra Beasts. So, I was thinking a little bit about it between episodes, and I think it is time... Oh. This sounds different. I think it's time for me to start really making big changes to my team. I know I had fun using, uh... Whoa, what the? Uh... Oh, hey, there it is! It's Nihiligo or whatever. Um... Oh, snap. Uh, yeah, so, anyway... I did change out two of my Pokémon. I'm probably gonna swap out most of the rest later on, anyway. Um... But yeah, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna bring along Lunala and uh, Tapu Koko because, shoot, why not? Okay, so am I supposed to catch this thing now? Uh, that is what I'd like to know. Mmm, I really hope so. Uh, well, I need to weaken it first, so let's go ahead and do so. I don't really know what type this thing is. Okay, so I do have a plan. I'm gonna use Brick Break, but then I'm gonna switch out for Tapu Koko, actually. Oh. Um. All right, there we go. Uh, so Tapu Koko has that lovely Nature's Madness move. I was thinking about it. It's like, you know what? This is actually gonna be really helpful for me to catch things. Um, because I can use that, and it just... It has the foes. Whoa. Oh, wow. That did a lot. Um, that has the foes current hit points. Sort of like Super Fang. So it'll be a good way to kind of weaken them without using, like, False Swipe or something. Oh, man. Although it just two KO'd Tapu Koko. Beast Boost? Oh, boy. It's Special Defense Rose. Uh... Well, all right, time for backup plan number two. Sending out Nebby, or uh, my Lunala now. So, yeah, Nebby has hypnosis. Figured that'd be a good idea. Oh, no, that's right, the electrified terrain. Hmm, that's going to be a problem now, isn't it? So, I don't really want to waste more than two beast balls on this thing. Uh, okay, I didn't really think that through now. Hmm. Probably would have been a good idea to give something false swipe, but I didn't think I'd just run into it in the, the grass there. Okay. Well, backup plan. Let's send out Honky Tonk. Hopefully this electric terrain will wear off pretty soon. Oh my gosh, this thing. Um, I guess I will try a Beast Ball right now. So, I very well may reset if, uh, if I don't catch it within one or two, because these things seem extremely limited. So, I don't really know how I can even get more of them. Okay, well, at least it wasn't a problem this time around. Okay, great, I caught it. Oh, man. Yeah, it kind of worries me throwing something that's worth more than a million Poké Dollars. Like, that is... That's scary. Oh, jeez. Okay, so Nihiligo's data will be added to the Pokédex. Great, now I can finally figure out what this thing is. Okay, number 293. Interesting. Rock Poison. Wow, one of the Ultra Beasts. It's unclear whether or not this Pokemon is sentient, but sometimes it can be observed behaving like a young girl. Wow, that's wild. Um, I don't really know what I should name you. Uh, I, I really don't know. I guess we'll just call you Nihiligo. So let me take a look at you. Um, what are you? Wow, those stats. Dang. Um, oh, geez, that's crazy. Okay, so rock and poison, that's such an interesting combo. Acid spray, venom drench. Ooh. 
So you didn't really have that much that could even damage me. You you definitely look interesting. And then this beast boost. It boosts its most proficient stat each time it knocks out a Pokemon. That is interesting. Wow, okay. Um, Rock Poison. I don't really know if I want to use it or not, but I guess I will go ahead and add it to the party again. I do kind of want to mix things up just a bit. I feel like uh, that'd be a good thing going forward here. Um, you know, I mean, I feel bad. Like, you know, whenever I had to change around a bunch of Pokemon for presumably a bunch of legendaries or legendary type things. Um, and I mean, I know that this thing is pretty strong, but the way I look at it, this is kind of how I think of Pokemon games. Like I like to play their main storyline and have a lot of fun with that. And then once it's done, it's like, okay, there's the post game. The challenge curve can be either like not a problem at all or it's like ridiculous or, you know, somewhere in between. I mean, it's it's very different. It varies from game to game. But usually at that point, I just don't care. It's like, I'm just gonna do whatever and not really worry about it. The challenge part of the game is, well, I won't say it's over. It's just the game kind of expects you to, you know, just get on a new level, I guess. And that's what I kind of want to do. I was just using basically whatever. I didn't really give a lot of thought to my team um, prior to this, but now it's like, you know what? I just want to have things that can fight stuff like that Salamence a little bit better. I got, I got wrecked in that fight. What is it? Has something happened or do you need some information from me? Well, I finished the mission there, pal. Amazing! Bravo! You have done it! I must call the chief back at once! Yes, you must. All right, so I got this thing and it was scary, but I caught it. So I feel good about that. I finished sending the data from the UB you protected to HQ and to Miss Wick as well. Thank you for your hard work, Maryland. With this development, I think we will be able to solve the mystery surrounding Nihiligo. Ni Nihiligo, whatever. Well, regardless of that, congratulations are in order, young Maryland. I, the great looker, think I shall provide a great feast to celebrate your great success and your addition to our team. There are some rather tasty restaurants here on this island after all. Oh, but how would you know that, Mr. Looker? We've only just arrived in Alola. Erm, I read about them in a magazine they had at the local Pokemon Center. D don't you worry yourself about the details. I'll go and ask if they don't do delivery. My goodness, that Mr. Looker. Oh yes, there was one other thing I wanted to tell you. The original plan was that the UB you caught would be collected by the International Police. However, we have been able to secure official permission for you to keep it, Maryland. Wow, how did you wing that one? It was a bit of a hassle to get all the details ironed out, but if we take the UB to headquarters, it would end up as a research subject. I expect it will be much happier staying with you, Maryland. Maybe. Sand catastrophe! Uh-oh. Mr. Looker, yes, what is it this time? In English, if you please. I'm sorry, it's just a habit of mine, but never mind that, we have a disaster! I got a tip about a new UB sighting! This time, the sighting was on Melee Melee Island. I'm sorry, but we'll have to put off our feast. I understand. Let us hurry to Melee Melee Island at once. Yes, ma'am! I will go ahead to Melee Melee Island and set up a new base of operations at the motel there. Please join us there as soon as you're ready, Maryland. We make for Melee Melee at once! We're trusting in you, Maryland! Don't forget, the Melee Melee Motel is on Route 2! I almost would have forgotten that, because it's been a while since I've been there. Oh, man. Okay, so it sounds like there's another beast coming this way. Um, I should probably put false swipe on something in thinking about it. It seems to me that'd be a good idea. Um, just because I don't really know how well Tapu Koko was going to do against all of these things. Um, all right, false swipe, there we go. Yeah, Tapu Koko can learn false swipe, so might as well have Tapu Koko do a little bit of good with uh, nature's madness to get some early damage, but not knock anything out, and then just kinda Lower it a bit. I guess I should get rid of Electro Ball. It's really good, but I don't know. It's without agility and paralyzing things. Like I don't know. I'll just I'll just do this. You're gonna be my utility, Tapu Coco. All right. So I'm gonna check out what is going on over there. I think I will save beforehand, just in case you know I have some bad luck again. I don't know how many of these things I'm going to have to fight. So, um, 
yeah, it might end up being like, uh, kind of one of those things where I, um, I don't know. I, I might reset if, you know, I like knock it out or if it takes too many. Again, my limit, I think, is going to be two of those beast balls. Thankfully, I caught uh, Nihiligo in the first one, which is good. Oh, hey, look at this. Another Zygarde thing. I really should do something more with Zygarde, shouldn't I? Eh, oh well. Anyway, I will see you in just a moment. Alright, so here I am at that hotel, or motel, rather. Uh, hey, Annabelle, what's up? Thank you for joining us, Maryland. Mr. Licker has already set out to gather more information about the UB. I've been waiting here on standby. I expect we'll have another visitor soon. A visitor? A mysterious person who claims to have some knowledge of the UB. He insisted that he would not share any more details with me until we met in person. But if he does have any real insight into the UB, then we cannot let this opportunity pass us by. So I think it would be best if you and I wait to take any further action now, and that we trust Mr. Looker to handle the field work. Though I do feel bad asking him to do all the work for us. I must applaud Mr. Looker for that remarkable energy of his. He is in a class of his own, even within the elite members of the International Police. I never would have expected someone like him to serve under my command. Yeah, how long have you been doing this anyway? Oh, hey! Don't mind if I let myself in. Y you are. How you been doing? You're well? M Mr. Nanu, my, it really has been a long time, but why in the world are you? I'm your contact. You want to know about that monster, right? Monster? So you were the one who reached out to us. I forgot about this Kahuna meeting we were all supposed to go to. That's how I ended up stuck as a messenger. And here you are, boy. You're you're acquainted with Maryland. Guess you could say that. And do you have some information for us about the UB that has been sighted on the island? It's not like I've seen it or nothing. Just heard rumors, you know. Yes, so then, could I trouble you to tell us what it is that you do know? <laughs> yeah. What was it you guys were calling it? Beauty or something? Well, you'll find it in Verdant Cavern. Not just one of them either, four of the things. Oh boy, you be too, beauty. The relationship between the two. Wait, wait just a moment. How do you know our code names? That is highly classified information. Hmm. No one wants to hear about that. Good luck. Hmm. The plot thickens. Mr. Nanu was, in fact, a superior of mine when I first joined the International Police. I never dreamed that I would meet him once again under circumstances such as these. But if the information that he shared with us is correct, then there are multiple UBs this time. The situation is dangerous. If we don't act at once... And disaster! Er, I, I'm sorry, I'm terrible in Spanish. Uh, Mr. Looker, in English if you would. I'm sorry, but please, there is no time to care about my odd habits. The UB sightings, I've gotten a hot tip. The perp really is right here on Melee Melee. It appears that it might be UB Beauty. It seems to be a beautiful yet dangerous UB that can move at incredible speeds. But that is not all. It is not one specimen, but four. In Verdant Cavern. You don't say. So it appears that his information was correct. Hmm, what's that? Did you say something just now, Chief? No, it's nothing. I understand, Mr. Looker. Then, Mr. Looker, Mr. Maryland, it looks like we have a job to do. My task will be to protect the populated areas. Maryland, you go to where the sighting was reported. Mr. Looker, you are to stay here and act as our backup once again in case we should need it. Hold it right there. Not again. This time I insist that I... Please understand, Mr. Looker. You do not have a partner Pokemon with you. I cannot allow you to operate in a place where you are likely to encounter danger. And besides that, having such an experienced veteran as yourself serve as our backup is a vital task in an operation like this one. Understand, ma'am. Then I must be off. Maryland, I wish you fortune in battle. Good luck out there, Chief. You take these, Maryland. I received them from Madam Wick. Oh, it better be more Big Malasadas. Oh, nice! Ten more Beast Balls! <laughs> Here I was worried, but now I got nothing to worry about. Uh, Madam Wick finished analyzing all of the data that we gathered on Nihiligo, aka UB Symbiont. If you want to learn more about that creature, you should speak with Madam Wick in the Aether Paradise Secret Labs. Now, it's time we get to work, and I'm here if you need to ask me anything. Man, I miss 
looker from Platinum. He had like the best dialogue back in Platinum. He's just like so funny. Um, okay, so I did save beforehand. I should probably save right now though. Uh, where was Verdant Cavern again? Herp -a -derp, uh, I feel like it was here. Um, but it's been a while. Yeah, okay, there it is. I'm just gonna fly because it'll probably take maybe half a second less time. Maybe not. I honestly don't know. Okay, so 10 beast balls. That's not bad. Here I thought that, you know, oh, well, I'm gonna have 10 throughout this whole thing. And maybe I'll get more than that after all. So I think I'd better save beforehand just in case. Uh, this could be dangerous. Okay, I always hate saving while recording, though. Just in case there's, like, a problem during the recording. But I guess in this case, we're just gonna have to go with it. Just gotta take that chance, you know? But, yeah, that's part of the reason why you never see me save. Usually what I do is I always like to make sure, uh... You know, after I record an episode that everything looks good. You know, this... This electric terrain is really going to get rather obnoxious with putting things to sleep, isn't it? Well, that's fine. Like, that's kind of a backup strategy. Okay, I was like, okay, there's no way that I think it'd be UB Beauty, right? Nah, not a chance. Yeah, I don't really even know if Tapu Koko will work the best for catching things. Um, I'm kind of having my doubts now after seeing how that electric terrain kind of got in the way. Um, all right, where the heck am I going? I guess it's probably gonna be in the back. So apparently there's what, four of them now? So I don't think I need to catch four. I could probably knock out the other three. I know it sounds rather cruel, but hey, we gotta get rid of them somehow. Oh, man. All right. Let me, uh, you know what? I'm just going to, uh, I'm just gonna do a cut until I get back to the, uh, path back there. Unless I find the UB. All right. I'm in the back now. The totem's den. And, uh, actually, I don't know if this is where I need to be. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of wondering now. Are there any... Any indications of anything? Maybe it is in that cavern after all. Um. Okay. Maybe just maybe I need to just approach this from a different uh, different angle here. So I am curious how I get down there. I've always kind of wondered that. And I'm seeing there's this cave on the map. Maybe the two are related. Uh, I'm gonna see if I find it over here. If I don't, though, I think I'm just going to, um, check out that cave. Just to see, because I have a feeling now that might be where it is. I mean, I'm definitely in Verdant Cavern, but there might be more than one area in Verdant Cavern. Oh, no, there it is. Yeah, it's just kind of around. Oh, that kind of freaked me out a little bit. Oh, jeez. That thing. All right, we got to get beauty. Oh, boy, it's speed road sharply. Okay, beauty. Oh, man, level 60. Well, if I can get one of them, that'd be nice. Let's go with nature's madness a few times. Bug buzz. Uh, interesting. Oh my gosh, that did a lot of damage. Yep, of course it would. What? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> you lower my special defense, and I miss with a 90% move. Yep. Love it. I love it. Okay, uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch out Tapu Koko. That thing's probably part bug. So... I gotta figure out what to do against it. Um, let's send out Oreo here. We're gonna air slash it. I think I'll be able to knock it out. Or not knock it out. Um, and if I knock it out, oh well, whatever. It's not the end of the world or anything because apparently there's three more. 
but I think this will work out. Okay, let's go with Air Slash. Oh man, this thing is really buzzing. Oh no, I knocked it out! Oh, sorry! I mean, I'm not entirely sorry, but, you know, moderately sorry. Well, um, there's one of them. Uh, you lost the sight of it, but the hint is still lingering. Oh, do I have to catch them? Oh, that would be awkward. Uh, I'm gonna go heal. I will be right back. Okay, here we go again. Oh, man. So I don't know if this is the same one or what. Like, if I need to catch it or... I honestly don't know right now. It'd be interesting if, like, you had to catch these things. Um, but I don't feel too bad about knocking out that first one. Other than the fact that, you know, it wasted a bit of time. Okay, let's see how much Air Slash does. This thing is obviously very fast. Okay, here we go. Oh my! Um, wow, that thing does not have very much special defense or something. Oops. Well, two down. Um... Hint of it's still lingering. Maybe it is still around. And here we go, yet again. Oh man, okay. I'm gonna see if uh, Revelation Dance treats this thing a little bit better. This thing is really fragile. I guess it kind of does look like a bug, you know? Sort of. And a fish, I guess. <laughs> if you look at that hair in the back. Okay, let's take a bug buzz. I've, oh man, seriously? Okay, uh, hopefully this will do all right. Oh wow, oh <laughs> Rio, that was really good. Um, however, I do want to put this thing asleep, or put it to sleep. Um, that'll definitely make things a little nicer here. Okay, um, oh man. That was a great hit. It's like, it took all the hassle out of that. Wait, what did it do? What was that? Um, I wasn't even paying enough attention. Did it say lunge? Yeah, lunge. Oh, that's interesting. And it lowers my attack. Well, you're asleep now. Okay, that's pretty ideal, I'd say. I think I should be able to catch it in one of these beast balls. Uh, at least I hope so. Come on, stay in there. Okay, great, I got it. Woo, thank goodness. Okay, um, well, good job. That was a nice team effort. Oreo really, really did great with that revelation dance. Pheromosa. Oh, that's an interesting name for it. Uh, let's see, 295. Pheromosa, wow. Okay, um... Bug fighting, ooh. One of the ultra beasts, it refuses to touch anything, perhaps because it senses some uncleanliness in this world. Oh, interesting. Uh, I don't really think I want to nickname it anything, but I do want to take a look at it. Oh my gosh, yeah, wow. Why does it have to have a bad speed stat? It's basically, uh, bug-type <laughs> Deoxys, I guess. Um, interesting. Uh, ooh, triple kick, lunge. Wow, 80 power and it lowers the target's attack stat? That's incredible. Um... Wow, okay. Cool. Um, I guess I will add you to my party, maybe, possibly. I don't, I don't really know. I'm slowly but surely replacing everyone. <laughs> um, just to kind of try out some new stuff, I guess. Uh, sorry, Comatose. I'm gonna let you go for now. Kind of on a mission here to get these Alter Beasts. Oh, I have to catch three more? Oh, man, I'll be right back. Well, one down, uh, I guess there's three more to catch. 
So, I don't know if I have to knock them out or catch all four or what. It'd be interesting if I actually had to catch all four of them. I'm going to end up with so many of these things. Which, I guess, isn't the end of the world. I have a little army of them. Um, okay, let's go ahead and do that revelation dancing. Oh, at least now it says Feramosa. That's cool. That was a nice hit. I bet you, you have a lot of potential there. Oh, but you have a lot of special defense. That's not good. Um... All right, I'm gonna false swipe that thing with Tapu Koko. And then I'll just try to catch it from there. Won't be able to put it to sleep, but should be okay. All right, here we go, false swipe. Oh yeah, one hit point left for you, huh? Uh, let's give it that beast ball. Here we go. Well, at least they haven't really given me much trouble. I was kind of worried that these things would be a pain to get. Um, so far it hasn't been too bad. I'm looking at you, Tapu Koko. Okay, uh, I don't need to give this one a name, but let me see if you're any better than the other one I had. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you do have special defense, and, ah, oh, that low attack stat's just bad. Um, yeah, you're, you're going away. So I gotta get one more of those things, don't I? Or no, two more. Okay, that's fine. Okay, here's number, uh, three, I guess. All right, Paramosa, let's get you. And the question does still remain, if I knock it out now, will that be an issue? Let's find out. Okay, how much is that Bug Buzz doing? Ooh, not very much. I don't have much faith in your, uh, your special attack there. Um, I'm gonna try a beast ball at this, like without weakening it too much more, just to see. Cause maybe I'm just overthinking things. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, great, I got one more. Not feeling too good about this one. I have a feeling it also has a low special attack nature. Uh, I might be wrong, but we'll see find out. Uh, no, but let's take a look at you. Uh, oh, low attack, high speed. Well, I guess that could be interesting. Um, all right, well, you can just go to a box. I'll be satisfied with the one I have right now. Uh, one more to catch. Okay, that is, that's fine. Let me heal up because I'm too lazy to go to the Pokemon Center. There we go, number four. Okay, let's get this thing. Oh man, <laughs> this has been an interesting kind of hunt, I guess. Like, I didn't really know what to expect from it, but I guess it's pretty cool. All right, hopefully I, well, I actually don't know. Part of me wants to knock it out. Oh man. It seemed okay. Cause see, I'm trying to kind of judge its stats based on, oh, so that one had really low special defense, which might not have been terrible for catching. I'd like something with lower special defense or defense. Okay, so let's see if this one here has any different stats or if Revelation Dance is going to knock it out as well. I am really curious if they're like, you know, the same thing. Think like a roaming legendary or if each one that you fight has like a different thing. See, that didn't knock it out. So could be damage rolls, could be, uh, I don't know, just, <laughs> I don't know, different, different Pokemon, different like 
individual one all together. Uh, hopefully it stays in there. Okay, great. Yeah, these have been just fine. I think it looked cool to catch something normal in this, though, so I'd, I'd like to hold on to a few extras. Okay, well, there we go. Got number four. Or, I guess, technically it's number two, or you'd be... I, I got number four of number two. Yeah, that's it. Uh, oh, this looks okay. Not as good uh, stats as the other one, but a fine nature for it. Um, hasty. Uh, capable of taking hits? I don't think so. That is very much not. Um, let me swap out the other one I have. Although, I don't know, this one seemed pretty good too. All right, bye. Swapping Faramosa there. Okay, uh, I completed the mission. Let's report it to Looker. All right, let's see what is going on now that I caught the, uh, the four Ultra Beast things. Hey, Looker, what's up? Um... I finished the mission. Amazing, bravo, you have done it. I must call the chief back at once. I finished sending the data from the UBU protected to HQ and a Miss Wick as well. Thank you for your hard work, Marilyn. With this data, I think we'll be able to solve the mysteries regarding UB Beauty, otherwise known as Faramosa. Uh, are you okay? What's the matter, Chief? I'm fine, I'm fine. There were just so many of them this time that I was nearly run off my feet. What? I'm fine, really. Please don't stare at me like that. Y yes of course, ma'am. You two must also be tired. What shall we do now? If you are terribly exhausted, there is only one natural conclusion to make. The one thing that takes away all weariness, it is, of course, a feast. This time, indeed, we must have a great feast to celebrate our successful mission, and there is a restaurant here on this island where we can eat to our stomach's content. I speak, of course, of the Battle Buffet. Oh, how curious. How is it that you are once again so familiar with the local restaurants? It, it is just by chance. The chanciest of chances, not the chanciest, mind you, just chance. <laughs> nice. N never you mind that. The most important fact right now is that it is a very popular place. I will go at once to make a reservation. Are we ever going to get some food? Mr. Licker is simply hopeless, isn't he? And Mr. Nanu, he was an excellent police officer years ago. He was on par with Mr. Looker, even back then. I'm really only here in this position now because of him. Hmm. Is it, or is it Stein disaster? Can't do Germany either, sorry. Oh, Mr. Looker, back so soon again. Could it be? Yes, it could indeed. It is in fact, or in fact it is, Chief. I've gotten a tip about another UB sighting. This time on Akala Island. We must delay our feast once again. Ah, darn it. Roger that, Mr. Looker. Then we must hurry to Akala Island at once. Yes, ma'am. We will return to the motel that we formerly used as our base of operations on Akala. I hope that you will join us there as soon as you are ready, Maryland. Back to Akala. We are still counting on you, Maryland. The motel is on Akala's route eight. That is the place you must come. All right, sounds good. Oh man, crazy. The, all these ultra beasts, it's pretty fun. But anyway, I think two or five or whatever, I think that's enough for one day, uh, or at least for this episode. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you on the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon Moon Adventure. See you next time, everyone. Alola.